We're here at Nelson Mandela's house in Johannesburg. Let's go inside and check it out. So today is going to be a fun day for us and for you guys and for vlogging because we are going to check out the city and the downtown of Johannesburg. We are going to go to Nelson Mandela's house where he lived uh, just outside the city center. So let's do it. Yeah. Nelson Mandela was a South African revolutionary, political leader, and philanthropist who served as president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999. first black president of South Africa in a fully representative democratic election. He was an African nationalist and a socialist. So this here is basically different pieces that the Mandela family owned and also various gifts that come from different countries that was given to a member of the Nelson Mandela family or the family itself. So pretty interesting to see these historical artifacts. of the furniture in the house belonged to Miss Winnie Madikinzella, and I've been here since 1988, which is a year before I was born. And this is when 8115, where we are right now, was restored after the fire, which gutted the property. And this is basically 8115 is the house that we're standing in now that Nelson Mandela and his family lived in. Nelson Mandela arrived in Johannesburg in April 1941. Today we visit his house. This small house has honors and distinctions for many politicians, universities, religious organizations, and other various organizations around the world. Inside his home, you can find many shops and people from the neighborhood doing dancing and singing and many other activities, which makes the experience more interesting. In 
Johannesburg and in South Africa generally, you can find the figure of Nelson Mandela everywhere. Nelson Mandela is one of the most important people in the history of South Africa, fighting against racism and segregation, which is shown to be an ongoing battle within this country. Make sure to follow our social media accounts where we'll be posting more content related to this YouTube channel. Hmm. Something smoking. What do we have here? We have some chicken with some spices. What did you put on there? Pepper, salt. We have a bunch of veggies. Pepper, red pepper, green pepper, we have yellow pepper still, corn, onion, potato. Mmm, that feels really nice. I like those coals, they're nice and big. Did a good job, though. So we're just out here brying, and then we have a little visitor come. Make yourself comfortable, huh? Hi! It smells the grill. Look, <laughs> somebody's hungry. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, he doesn't like the GoPro in his face. <laughs> this guy, he loves to bry. So, I guess this is an Argentinian thing that I've never heard of before. You don't do this in the U.S. that I'm aware of. If anybody knows any different, let me know. But you cut a pepper in half and then you drop an egg inside. And that basically is going to cook on the grill. And we'll show you how it turns out after. This one's getting so desperate, he's resorted to eating dirt. Hey, that's not any food. He's been circling this grill for, for a while now. And the egg has begun to cook. So we are almost finished. We finally found the light for the grill, which helps because now it's dark. And you can see there's the eggs inside the pepper that I showed you earlier. Everything's cooking. It smells really good. Too bad you guys can't get a whiff of this. So just before you sit down to eat, here's the final. The final shot. And since we're really big drinkers, we're gonna, you know, get crazy with the South African wine. <laughs> Our glasses, big glasses for little cups. No, wait, that didn't make any sense. Big glass <laughs> for a little bottle. That's what I meant. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>